Hello friends, welcome to Expert Medical Coding. In today's video, we are going to learn about jaundice. We are going to see what is jaundice is, what are the symptoms of it, causes, complications, tests, treatment and precautions. So, let's get started. What is jaundice? Jaundice, also known as hyperbilirubinemia, is a condition where your skin, the whites of your eyes and mucous membranes like the inside of your nose and mouth turn yellow. Now let us see the symptoms of jaundice. A yellow tinge to the skin, mucous membranes and the whites of the eyes, fever and chills, abdominal pain, loss of appetite, weight loss, itchy skin, dark or brown colored urine, pale colored stools, being tired or confused and flu-like symptoms. Now let us see the types of jaundice and they are hemolytic jaundice, hepatocellular jaundice and obstructive jaundice. Let us first see hemolytic jaundice also called as prehepatic jaundice. It occurs when red blood cells break down at an accelerated rate resulting in the buildup of more bilirubin. This occurs due to infectious diseases such as malaria, anemia etc. Hepatocellular jaundice also known as hepatic jaundice. It occurs as a result of liver damage or injury. The liver generally gets damaged due to infections, excessive consumption of alcohol and also due to parasitic infections. And the third type is obstructive jaundice also known as post-hepatic jaundice. This occurs when bilirubin is blocked and is unable to be discharged from the liver. Now let us see the causes of jaundice. A small number of red blood cells in your body die each day and are replaced by new ones. This process produces bilirubin. Bilirubin travels through your bloodstream to the liver. The liver helps break down bilirubin so that it can be removed by the body through the stool. Jaundice can occur when too much of bilirubin builds up in the body. This may happen when there are too many red blood cells dying or breaking down and going to the liver, when the liver is overloaded or damaged, when the bilirubin from the liver is not able to properly move into the digestive tract. Now let us see the causes and the first cause is hepatitis. Hepatitis is inflammation of the liver. Often the cause is a virus that infects the liver cells such as hepatitis A, B or C. Hepatitis damages the liver so it can't filter bilirubin well. This can lead to jaundice. The next cause is drinking too much of alcohol. Drinking alcohol heavily for a long time causes serious liver damage. In some people it can lead to inflammation that destroys liver cells making it harder for your liver to do its job and causes jaundice. And the next cause is reaction to a blood transfusion. If you are given blood that is the wrong type for example if you have type A blood but get type B your immune system might destroy the wrong blood releasing more bilirubin and causes jaundice. Next cause is malaria. You get the parasite that causes malaria from a mosquito bite or through contact with infected blood. Your blood cells may burst or become damaged and build up more bilirubin causes jaundice. Next cause is liver cirrhosis. This condition causes scar tissue to replace healthy liver cells. As more and more scar tissue forms, it's harder for your liver to do its job and unable to process bilirubin well and causes jaundice. Next cause is hemolytic anemia. Anemia is a condition in which your blood lacks healthy red blood cells. In hemolytic anemia, your body breaks down red blood cells too quickly. When that happens, it releases more bilirubin and causes jaundice. Next cause is liver cancer. Cancer that starts or spreads from the liver is the most common cause of jaundice in people who have cancer. It can damage liver cells or bile ducts which affects bilirubin process. Next cause is pancreatic cancer. Tumors in your pancreas can press on bile ducts. If bile can't drain from your liver into your small intestine, bilirubin builds up. When pancreatic cancer spreads, it often goes to liver. This can also cause jaundice. Next cause is gallbladder cancer. This rare form of cancer doesn't usually cause symptoms until the tumor grows large or the cancer spreads. When the tumor is big enough to block bile ducts, it can lead to jaundice. Next cause is sarcoidosis. This inflammatory disease can trigger your immune system to attack your body's tissues. If it damages your liver, you might have jaundice. Next cause is amyloidosis. 
This condition causes the buildup of an unusual protein called amyloid in your tissues and organs. Jaundice can happen when the deposits are in your liver. Next cause is Gilbert syndrome. This rare condition only affects about 3 to 7 percent of people. If you are born with it, your liver doesn't make enough of an enzyme it needs to process bilirubin. The result is higher levels of bilirubin in your blood and causes jaundice. Next cause is krigler najjar syndrome. A rare genetic disorder affecting the enzyme responsible for processing bilirubin. Next cause is dubin johnson syndrome. Another rare genetic disorder that affects the liver's ability to transport bilirubin. Next cause is medication induced jaundice. Some medications can cause liver damage or affect bilirubin metabolism and causes jaundice. Next cause is hemochromatosis, a genetic disorder leading to iron overload which can damage the liver and causes jaundice. Next cause is Wilson's disease, an inherited disorder that causes copper to accumulate in the liver, leading to liver damage and jaundice. Next cause is leptospirosis, a bacterial infection that can cause liver inflammation and jaundice. Next cause is hepatotoxicity. Exposure to certain toxins, chemicals and drugs that can damage the liver and lead to jaundice. Now let us see the complications of jaundice. Bilirubin is a toxic substance. If left untreated, the conditions that cause jaundice can lead to serious complications. For instance, untreated hepatitis can eventually lead to cirrhosis, liver failure and an increased risk of liver cancer. When a bile duct blockage doesn't get the treatment it needs, you may be at a risk of gallbladder or bile duct infections, pancreatitis and sepsis. While rare, a severe buildup of bilirubin in the brain known as Kernic Terrace can occur. Kernic Terrace can cause brain damage, particularly in newborns with severe jaundice. Now let us discuss about the tests. The healthcare provider will perform a physical exam. This may show liver swelling. A bilirubin blood test will be done to measure levels of bilirubin in the blood. Other tests may include Hepatitis Panel Blood Test. A hepatitis panel is used to find out if you have an active hepatitis A or B infection now or if you have had one in the past. It's also used to find out if you have ever been infected with hepatitis C. Liver Function Test Liver Function Test to determine how well the liver is working. The most common liver function tests include Liver Enzyme Test Your liver enzymes including Alkaline Phosphatase ALP, Alanine Transaminase ALT, Aspirate amino transferase AST and gamma glutamyl transferase GGT. These are elevated when there is injury to the liver. Total protein test. A total protein test measures levels of protein in your blood. Your liver makes protein and low protein levels may indicate that your liver is not functioning optimally. LDH test. Lactate dehydrogenase LDH is an enzyme found in many of your body's tissues including your liver. If your liver LDH levels are high, it may be a sign of certain diseases or injuries. Prothrombin time test. This test measures how long it takes for a sample of your blood to clot. A high PT usually means that there is serious liver damage or cirrhosis. Complete blood count. This test checks your red and white blood cells as well as platelets to get a picture of your overall health. Other tests include abdominal ultrasound, abdominal CT scan, Magnetic Resonance Cholangiopancreatography that is MRCP, Endoscopic Retrograde Cholangiopancreatography that is ERCP, Percutaneous Transhepatic Cholangiogram that is PTCA and Liver Biopsy. Now let us see the treatment options. Treatment for hepatic jaundice involves treating its cause. Treatment may vary depending on the conditions. For example, if the patient developed jaundice due to malaria, physician will prescribe medications to help destroy the parasite and prevent parasites from reinfecting your liver again. For example, if the patient develops jaundice due to viral hepatitis, physicians will treat the patient with antiviral medications. Your doctor might suggest surgery for other causes of jaundice such as gallstones, a blocked bile duct, pancreatic cancer. Now let us see the precautions of jaundice. Consult a healthcare professional. If you experience signs of jaundice, seek medical attention promptly for proper diagnosis and treatment. Hydration. Stay well hydrated to support your liver function and the elimination of bilirubin. Healthy diet. Consume a balanced diet of fruits, vegetables and whole grains. Avoid fatty and processed foods. 
avoid alcohol if the cause of jaundice is related to liver function avoid alcohol altogether medication review consult your doctor before taking any medications as some can exacerbate jaundice rest and recovery let your body rest and recuperate throughout the healing process follow medical advice adhere to your healthcare provider's treatment and follow up appointment recommendations Please like share and subscribe to Expert Medical Coding. Thanks for watching.